With disruptive technology, Africa has the potential to actualize economic development at a quicker pace than it took China, says Dr. Obi Ezekwesili. Ezekwesili spoke while delivering a keynote address at the maiden edition of the Change and Development Forum organized by the Dari Adeboye Foundation in Lagos. The forum was to promote productive dialogue and partnerships among stakeholders within the social impact sector. The event was held at the Redemption Camp to mark the first year memorial of the passing on of Pastor Dari Adeboye and to create a development epitaph for him. The most significant thing that is happening in the 21st century of our lives is a sea change in economic structures of the world. I said the economic structure of the world is changing phenomenally. I said disruptive technologies would have such an impact on human civilization, much more than the cumulative impact of what we saw with the agrarian revolution, with the industrial revolution, and even with knowledge revolution. I said to him that what, what would happen to you know, blockchain technologies, the AIs, artificial intelligence, internet of things, what would happen with the algorithms and, and everything that has to do with all these disruptive uh, technologies of, you know, uh, of, of all kinds would so transform our world. And I said, guess what? It's actually Africa's moment. I said, if Africa gets it, it would take Africa shorter time span than it took China to happen. So imagine that Africa, which missed the agrarian revolution, missed the boss of industrial revolution, missed a bit of knowledge revolution, but caught on to the ICT revolution. In her address at the event, the wife of the Ogun State Governor, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodu, called for concerted efforts to drive sustainable development in order to support and complement the government's agenda. This forum is not just about discussing change and development, but also about how to find more ways to apply change and development in the lives of people around us, our communities, and the nations of the world. This is one of the ways we can truly honor his memory, by supporting and sustaining his legacy and his vision. Pastor Dare believed that education was a bedrock of any developed society, and that is why he provided educational support to as many people as possible. We need to ask ourselves, what can we do to build the education system or to rebuild the education system in our country. On the aspect of education, we're going to do that. On the, on the aspect of empowerment, we're going to do that. On the aspect of, I mean, there were three or four major things that he believes in that he has already started. On the aspect of changing the country, like what you heard Dr. Obi said, changing the environment, changing the, country, the mindset of people, we're going to do that. We're going to look at people, young people who have influence who have the zeal, who have the interest to go into politics, to be able to change things around. We're going to put them on the platform, we're going to help them, and how to get them on the platform, we will help them. The same thing on the edu education aspect, from the one, from primary to secondary school to university, we're going to help people who come forth within the mission, even out of outside the mission, and also to do that. The goal of the event is to drive policy and strategic discussions aimed at social development with a focus on young Nigerians. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.